Perseverance will get you anywhere. After a 300 million mile journey, the Mars rover has touched down. KPI X5's Don Ford on how Bay Area scientists played a key role in today's nail biting touchdown. Landing a spacecraft on Mars is a complicated multi stage procedure, and scientists here at the Chabot Space and Science Center are paying close attention to the landing. Chabot Space and Science Center hosted a virtual watch party of the landing, and they had nearly a thousand viewers. This is the, the, the fifth rover that NASA is going to land on Mars. Perseverance enters the Martian atmosphere, traveling at more than 12,000 miles an hour, six times the speed of a 50 caliber rifle bullet. The heat shield must withstand 2,000 degrees. That's hotter than Hawaiian lava. Dr. Helen Wang says this isn't your normal heat shield. NASA Ames actually invented and developed the heat shield material, which is called PICA. We actually tested all of the material at NASA Ames. Now the hard part, a 70 foot wide parachute wide enough to fit a five story building opens. Once slowed, a rocket boosted Skytrain leaves the chute and hunts for a landing spot. Perseverance has a primary objective of looking for signs of life. Life. Uh, so it's being, they're landing Perseverance in the Jezero crater, which three and a half billion years ago was a lake. Then Skytrain gently lowers Perseverance to the ground. What could go wrong? And as if that wasn't enough, Perseverance is carrying a helicopter. This is the first time a, a helicopter, any kind of a flying vehicle, will fly in the atmosphere of another celestial body. It would use a smartphone camera to take photos. Most amazingly of all, safely on the surface of Mars. It worked as planned. Congratulations, NASA. In Oakland, Don Ford, KPIX5.